Body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins. What's up, Betty Army? Welcome to another Muk Bang Car Bang. Hope you guys are having an amazing Friday, y'all. It is Friday, and it's not a good Friday because it's been raining for the past two days straight. Nevertheless, we're here. We're here. Okay, and we're never stressed. Okay, we're blessed and never stressed. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, so today, y'all, we are trying something new. Good girls, we're going on. Huh? So we're trying this sandwich from this place called Nukes Eatery. They have a new sandwich. It's called the Q sandwich, girl. I've actually had it twice. Ah, <laughs> actually, um, this is like probably the second time I'm eating from Nukes Eatery, girl. We have had their um, was it their vegan pizza mm. or something like that? Their oh their yes, cauliflower crust pizza. Their barbecue chicken cauliflower. Have I tried crust. that pizza before? Yeah, we did a mukbang with it too. Oh yeah. And so, I think me and um, Famada went there one time. But yeah, we're trying that. They have this new sandwich called the Q Sandwich, girl. The Q Sandwich. And it's the sandwich that they're advertising right now. So show it them. Show it to them, Craig. So this is the Q Sandwich. I've had it twice before. To be honest, y'all, I do not know what's in there, but it tastes good to me, girl. The so let me tell you what's in there. So okay, so this is what it's given. It's chicken, bacon, Swiss, with their signature barbecue sauce. Oh. And the bread looks perfectly toasted, girl. Yes. And I don't know if the bread has some kind of seasoning. The bread has um black pepper in, in the actual bread. You're gonna taste it. Yeah. It is so good, y'all. The this bread is looks so really, really good. First of all, Subway Who? Subway Who? Because this sandwich girl, and I love how. The bread is perfectly toasted. I hate when you go to somewhere and to get a soft and the bread tough like a croutons. This bread feels soft. My don't want a bread for my sandwich, girl. Tough like croutons, like a salad me I eat. You don't want a bread for your sandwich? My don't want the bread tough like croutons. Oh, and then we it's have... It's not a salad. We have some baked lace chips on the side. It's not a salad, girl. I don't want it crunchy, crunchy, crunchy up in my mouth, girl, like cucumber, Okay, girl. let's say our grace. God, God is good, God, God is great. Is great. Let, Let us thank him for our food. food. Amen. Amen. Make sure y'all grab a snack. And come and right, come just right on back. And yes, oh. You already know. You already know. And make sure you guys are subscribed, like this video, uh -huh. and drag that notification bell. Drag it. bing ling ling bing ling 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 Y'all, so what are y'all eating today? Y'all, y'all, as I said, I had it twice before y'all. It is so good. And when I tell you I was so surprised, I don't know if they baked the um the seasoning into Ooh, the bread. Look at this bacon. The black pepper down, in the bread, girl. girl. Look at this bacon. Oh girl, down. now this is a sub girl. Look at this. This is a sub girl. When you talk about eating fresh my thing, it ain't subway. Let's how you doing. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Last video we forgot to. How you doing? Be we did. I think so. Somebody pointed it out. I don't think. Yeah, we but did. did you watch and see? Cause sometimes I don't think we did. Did we? I don't know. You didn't watch to see, girl. How? Cause normally sometimes people. How did I not watch to see if I if I edited the video? Oh, but you don't remember. I though. don't remember. So a lot of times people say that though, but when I rewatch the video, we they did miss it. it. Yeah. Anyways, y'all. Big mouth, I heart hungry. Okay, so I'm gonna let Kira taste it first, cause I've had it twice, girl. Oh. This Let's is see. so good, y'all. I don't want to do it. Kira, bite it. And I like that the sauce is not overpowering. It's just nice. I like it. Tell me if you like it, Kira, because you're so fussy when it comes to food, girl. Mm. You like it, right? Mm. I love it. <laughs> Wait, I forgot I got napkins. Mm, napkins right there. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Something about this mm -hmm. remind me of that sandwich we got from um mm. from Panera. Oh, the flat the the um the panini sandwich that we but got. But you don't have the um the pickled onions in yeah, there. Yeah, it has like a z yeah that mm -hmm. other one had like a zing. Mm. But anyways, how are y'all doing today? Yo, look at this. Mm. What are y'all eating on this Friday? I just I love this bread too. This bread that they use, my God, today. Mmm. Mmm. So yeah, mm, 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 mm. Un momento. 
So y'all, mm. it's been raining cats and dogs for like three days straight now, girl. It is so annoying. So apparently, Miss Helen, a hurricane girl, she's in Florida now. Is he lean? Eileen, Ellen Eileen girl, you got over the hell I'm talking about. Y'all watch the news. She is on her way, girl, to Georgia, hot lantern. So she is affecting the East Coast. Child. So I know y'all hear that rain. I don't know how Atlanta gonna make it out. Y'all can see it right here. Because the first few seconds that the rain started falling, girl, Atlanta was flooded out. I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, I don't know why they won't fix the drainage system. Like, y'all keep saying that um, Atlanta don't get really, really cold. But what if it does get really, really cold? Y'all need to be prepared for that. Listen. And then the rain, like, everywhere is flooded out. Like, Can y'all take the um, drain stopper out, girl? Because the place is clogged up. Can y'all take the drain clogger out? Y'all know the thing that y'all used to clog up y'all back up. That's what the hell y'all got in Atlanta, girl. Backing up all the damn water. Can y'all take it out so the water can go down? Can we get some Drano up in this bitch? Because something is, the cloggage is clogging. The cloggage is clogging. And we need to declog it. Ooh, you just see the black pepper like there's a black, there's some kind of black pepper in the, um, in the braid. There's a, <laughs> a tiny bit of spice. It is so good, nice, y'all. I love this, y'all. It's a quick, it's just a quick, quick snack. Now, this is like a perfect sandwich because it's not, um... Y'all know, wait, let me get into this because the first time I went to go get this sandwich, girl, they advertised only half of the sandwich. Like, okay, wait a second. Let half me, of the sandwich, I guess. Let me do this PVO Wait, no, quick. wait, no, no, let me let finish. Let me do the PVO. Just let me finish. No, you're, you're started, Carrie. No, you're already started. You're gonna... Carrie, already started, Carrie. No. No, Carrie, I already started. It's two seconds, Carrie. Today's PVO. <laughs> Girl. Everything heals. Your heart heals. The mind heals. Wounds heal. Your happiness is always going to come back. Bad times don't last. Period. Period. Okay, back to what I was saying. For well, the first time I went to go get the sandwich, they only advertised half of the sub for $11. So I'm like, it's, you don't get a half of the sub for $11, girl, or it's a full sandwich, girl. The girl looked confused, like I was speaking English. I was like, you not understand, you not, you not speaking. Like, like you weren't speaking English? Like I weren't speaking English. So I just, you, not, you not understand English? No habla espanol? She was like, you can get the half a sub or you can get the full sub and it's the same price. So, you Now, why the hell I'm going to pay $11? For a full sandwich and take half of the sandwich, girl. Ain't nobody got time for that, girl. It don't matter if I'm eating the whole sandwich now or half, girl. I'm getting the whole sandwich, girl. What the hell? Why would you pay full price for half nice? So it's not right. So uh -uh. you're gonna talk in Spanish and ask them if they don't speak Spanish. No habla el español. Español. That's what you said. You mean no habla English? Anyways, if y'all live in whatever state y'all live in, if y'all got a new eatery, try the sandwich. And I like how they don't, um, the bacon is not overpowering. This is really good. Mm. What kind of sandwich eater are y'all? Do y'all be eating chips with y'all own thing? I'm not really a chips person with the sandwich, girl. I don't really like this one that they gave us. The baked, um, you should've got barbecue. I like the kettle one, the kettle. This one dries out your mouth. Oh, this kind of tastes like Pringles. Without the um the, the Pringle. Cause the flavor is not there. Tastes like the Pringle without the glue. Mm -mm. Mm. Not really a chips girl, but this sandwich girl. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Y'all see the whole thing? Girl. That's going on online with Cardi B at Offset. Oh, Lord. Again. I'm going to stay out of it, girl. I'm going to stay out of it because you know what? First of all. They're going to be back together next week. The way how. Mm. 
Cardi B snapped back from just having her baby? Mm -mm. Didn't she give birth that, that two weeks ago or three weeks ago? It's not a month yet since she gave birth, and she looks damn good. Mm -hmm. She already in Paris doing Paris Fashion Week. She looked really good. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. So let me say that first of all. Cardi B, I feel like Cardi B is a person where her body, it, it um, thingies to, 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 to surgery. Like, you know, some people's body don't really think that to surgery. Her body is, is a good surgery body, if you get what I'm saying. Huh. I don't. I don't know what I'm trying to say, girl. I don't know if y'all get. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't get it, but okay. But yeah, y'all. Mm. They arguing. So apparently, they really, really broke up. Um, this time, apparently, girl. Because do I believe it? Cause I don't. This has happened a few times. So we don't believe it. We don't know what to believe at this point, but. They're arguing back and forth on social media. Apparently, they've been breaking, um, broken up for a while now. And Cardi B is saying that he's trying to take her stuff. I don't know if he's trying to take her stuff or the stuff that he gave First her. First of all. That he gave her. I don't know. Off cheat. Off cheat. How in the hell you going to be mad at this woman because this woman is sleeping with somebody else? But y'all not together, girl. And you've been cheating on her left, right, and center, girl. That's why your damn name is off cheat. What the hell is going on? And then you is a P.S. nigga, girl, to be going back and forth with this woman, girl. Like you's a sissy. And then, who takes, and then, back, who takes back stuff that they gave to a woman that was with for years, girl, their wife? Girl, just write that off, girl. What the hell, girl? You not poor? Go on tour and make some money, girl. Sell your ass. Do something. And then, allegedly, because they're broken up, since they broke up, Offset has been messing with people who are, who are, um, Cardi B's ops. Girl. The whole debacle is a mess, girl. It's a mess, honey. Girl. And then, so it looks like, it looks like Cardi B... So Cardi B has been in the studio because her album's coming out soon, right? I would like to see. So when she went live, she was rapping this new song, which is obviously aimed at, at um, Offset, which I actually like. The words and everything, the mm. lyrics and how she was rapping, it, the song actually sounded good. So I, I, while she, I saw a screenshot that while she was live, he came and commented and said something about... Um, she was having sex with somebody else while she was pregnant. So I also saw a screenshot where she went over to Twitter and typed and did. Girl. And did in all caps with exclamation. Mm. So she's confirming that she did. And rightfully so. He's been cheating on and her what? for how long? During the whole marriage, girl, he's been cheating on her. Listen. And now he's mad because she's having sex with other people. It's about time um, Car Cardi B know her worth. Okay, y'all? This man ain't never gonna change. Okay? So you gotta move on. Oh, so this is chicken. It's, it's shri um, not shredded. Um, diced chicken. Thinly sliced chicken. With bits of bacon. But the, 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 the way how the chicken is sliced, it's kind of giving, there's a little hint like it tastes like tuna kind of though, right? No. No? Mm-mm. <laughs> Anyways, forget, forget, erase that girl, delete that. Nice thing. But, um, um, so this place called Nukes Eatery, it's a cute place. You get a cute sandwich. They have salads too. They have, um, what is it, Catherine? They be having. Um, oh, they have the pizza. They, they have, have ready-made plates like shrimps. Yeah, shrimps like raw shrimp. Oh, you know, you know, I've been want what I've been wanting the other day from the other day, uh, um, a salmon salad, and they have a new salmon salad. I need to try it. Mhm. Mm I need to try it. So in the front, you have the front area girl where they have like little slices of cakes. They have like cocktail shrimp. They got salmon. So and they stuff. got healthy stuff, but then they got dessert girl. Mm -hmm. So. 
as I said before, I tr I tried their gluten free um cauliflower um cauliflower pizza before, and it was really good. So yeah, their pizza is really they're just they're just a little bit pricey, girl. What kind of pizza? I guess because it's healthy. Their cauliflower. Yeah, what, what kind of it, what kind of pizza was it though? Gluten free. Gluten gluten free. Gluten free. Gluten. <laughs> gluten free. Girl. Anyways, yeah. Um. Cardi B and Off Cheat only can't trick me. Only can't trick me. I feel like they're still gonna get back together. Cause they be mm. no, she might be done done this time. If um, oh. that's what's really happening. And the reason why I feel like they're really done for real, because all the things that they've been through, you, you never heard him say that she sleep with anybody though, or just or her, or he said that. Well, probably she hasn't. Uh. Well, she said she back outside, girl. Oh, and she said the reason why he's so mad is because she she off in Paris. She in Paris. And I guess he wasn't invited. Child. But to be honest though, Offset, who are you without Cardi? Cardi is the real star of the show. So yeah. Who was a celebrity first? Ain't nobody checking for you. Um Cardi B was a celebrity first or offset? No, I think he was in the Migos. I mean off sheet. Mm -hmm. Well whatever, girl. But anyways, y'all, we have something to talk to y'all about. All I gotta say is, whoa, 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 whoa. So y'all, I got something to talk to y'all about. We have something to talk to y'all about. Let, I mean, let me let Craig finish his sandwich first, girl. Because, yeah. So, finish that up, girl. First of all, don't put a time on my eating. So, this rain is just very depressing, to be honest. Don't put a time on my eating. And to have to work in this rain is so annoying. The people are mm. annoying. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. And it's just y'all get on my last nerve. Something is wrong. Something is not right with y'all. Some of y'all. Something ain't right. I need to start putting some Q-tips in my car because mm. not Q-tips. Y'all, toothpick. I can give you some. Toothpick. This is so good. I don't like the ones that you have. I like the ones with the string. Okay. Say no more. Yeah. You don't have to take them. I didn't ask you in the first place. <laughs> me not get them. I never asked you in Next the first time, place. kick me on my throat, y'all. Kick me on y'all. Mm mm. 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 Okay, you can't put an ear on, girl. It's hotter than the jalapeno pussy. It's girl. not. Jesus. Mm mm. Anyways, y'all, let me get my mind right. Okay. So, y'all. It's been a little, a little while now since this has been happening. And we have I feel like we haven't said anything because it is so personal and so close to um like it's I don't feel like everything should be on like we should talk about every everything anything that's like really really personal especially if it's not like happening to us yes like, like directly happening to us I feel like we wanted to give our sister the respect to if she chose to come out with it publicly first before we spoke on the matter because it's about her yeah it's about her and it's a very 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 serious it's a very matter. very life and very personal so and we we have said like a few stuff in a few videos saying that like like saying like life is life in and a lot of stuff is happening but when i tell you when it rains and it's literally raining right now when it rains it pours y'all don't understand literally y'all don't understand we've been sitting with, with this for a while and for I'm a while still, now and I'm, we st I'm still in disbelief i'm still not even coming to the realization that this is actually that's, real that's actually reality like 
when we got the call, I was like, what? So imagine what she is going through. So you know, wait. So imagine trying to process this, but at the same time, you gotta still keep it cute and make videos and make these videos where we have to entertain people and you know it's not easy but it's something that we have to do because it's a source of income and we have to pay bills you know but y'all when I tell you y'all hmm, hmm. so y'all if y'all follow our sister Natalia y'all know her she's y'all know Natalia she's been on a few videos with us before y'all definitely know her um if y'all follow her on her social her social media, either on TikTok or Instagram, mostly on TikTok, she has been documenting her journey. So a few months ago, she found out that she went to the doctor and she found out that she had cancer. So when she found when she went to the doctor, they told her that it was at stage zero. Yes. And it was somewhere in one of her breasts. Did she tell us which one of her breasts? Uh, I, I, I don't remember. So they found it in one breasts. of her breasts, right? And she um, made a decision that she wanted to get a vasectomy. So she wanted to get both her breasts removed so that uh, the cancer won't show up anywhere else. So, um yeah that was a few months ago so to make a long story short if y'all want to see the longer um story and the the journey her journey i'm gonna i'm gonna put her TikTok on the screen and y'all can go watch her videos because she's been documenting from before she had the surgery and everything so fast forward she had the vasectomy um went to get her checkup after that only to find out that her cancer has jumped to stage um, 3A because um, it spread to her lymph nodes. And when I tell you that Natalia is the strongest person I know because I don't know how somebody can get news like that and she is just so strong like the way that she took the news the way how she is um being very optimistic and she's gonna beat this she's gonna beat this she must be the strongest person when i tell you i still can't wrap my brain around the whole thing like i don't understand how this everything is like it's happening so fast i, I can't understand it when i tell you cat that that disease cancer is so dreadful and you hear about it every day, but you don't really grasp it or understand it until it's somebody close to you. It happens to. And all you can do is pray and hope for the best and be and have faith and be optimistic because we just can't you can't just sit back and let cancer defeat you like and Natalia is like the strongest person. Like she is. She is the strongest. I don't even know. Cause when, when she called us and told us, I'm, I was like, this can't be real. Is this a joke? Because I couldn't like wrap my brain around it. And the way that um she was, because of course, when she told us she, she knew for a, a, a little bit. So mentally, I don't, I can't imagine like mentally what that was for her. But when I just found I out, think, I think when she told us, she had already known for like probably a month or so. When she told us, or she knew for a good while before she. Actually yeah, told so us. I don't know mentally because I don't know if it was me mentally. I don't know how I would do it, but the way that she's being so positive about it and how she's documenting her journey and keeping people up to date and um, trying to help other people, I really commend her and. Um, she is just so brave and the main reason why we are talking about it now is because she, she made needs, it public she she made it public she's she been made it public but um recently she made a gofundme page where um people can donate because yeah. this all right so now that she is at stage um 3a she has a, a, a few surgeries that she got she has to do like one she has to freeze her eggs in case she because she has she has no kids yet so she wants kids so she has to freeze her eggs before she start um chemo because when you're doing chemo you can't um 
do that. So she has a, I think she has the, um, to freeze her eggs, then she has to do a PET scan, and then she has to start chemo. And that, when I tell you that these procedures are so expensive, like her insurance don't cover it, so she started a GoFundMe page. And of course, we have a platform, so we want to get her as much help as possible. So we're going to link her GoFundMe page in the description. It's going to be the first link. And um, anything helps. 50 cent, a dollar, two dollar, anything helps. And we also want y'all, if y'all can't help, if y'all can't donate, Please go on her page and show her some love, no, please. No, honestly, and y'all, we please need show her some love. We need and prayers. prayers. All the prayer warriors that we have as subscribers, we need y'all to come together, y'all, and, and pray for her because this is really, this disease called cancer is dreadful and it's just like, like you never know which way it's gonna go, like, for real. You could be as strong as you can, mm -hmm. but you just never know. And <clears throat> and trust me, guys. When we just found out, it's been a while now since we've known. It's been a few months now. When we just found out, well, for me personally, I could not sleep. Like I could not wrap my brain around it. I cried. I could not sleep. Um, we've we've tried to be be there for her as much as possible. Um, and yeah, that's 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 all you can do. You can pray. You can give her um, all the support that she needs. But um, it all comes down to her, and she's been doing a great job so far with being positive and um, the whole me her whole mental health and how uh, she has been really pressing on. I'm just happy. I that really commend her. I'm just happy that we're actually closer now. Like this has brought us really, really closer. closer. Like we yeah. speak like every day, literally every day now. As, to, as opposed to before, like we would not speak for months or probably a year or something like that. So, yeah, so y'all, <clears throat> it don't matter what y'all going through with y'all family members or y'all siblings, make sure y'all stay in contact. Don't wait until you get bad news for y'all to, um, to yeah. mesh together and bond. Like, no, y'all need to stay in contact. It shouldn't be months, years, and stuff like that, y'all. Y'all need to stay connected, like for real. Yeah. Because you, never, you know. never know. And never this know. this happened so sudden, like it just came out of nowhere. And also, y'all, for um women especially, make sure y'all go get yourself checked out. Cause you never know. Yep. You never know. Make sure you get you get your yes, yes. Cause I think with out. Natalia she had a lump in her breast, right? Yeah, and she kept like feigning um feeling pain. Yeah. Over a while or whatever. And then she went and got it checked. So make and sure y'all they found out. Make sure y'all pay attention to y'all body and um especially y'all breasts and stuff. And if y'all feeling lumps and pains and stuff like that, mm -hmm. make sure y'all get regular checkups and make sure y'all stay on top of it because the earlier you, you catch it, the better. Yeah, and um, as I said before, before y'all, if y'all want to see um, her full journey, cause she has been documenting it on TikTok. Um, her TikTok. Let me tell you what it is. I'm also gonna put it on the page, but let me tell y'all what it is. Her TikTok is at Miss Talia Smith. So it's at M S Talia. Smith. So I'm gonna put it on the screen so y'all can go and watch her journey. Go back and watch her journey, and um, just give her some love mm. underneath the comments on her TikTok and her Instagram. And don't forget that the link to her GoFundMe is in the description. Donate whatever you guys can. It would it will really really help her in getting these procedures. Cause these expenses, and, and that's the other thing. I get it. And that then she's not able to work right now because yeah. she yeah. She's not able to work. I get it that doctors need to be paid and staff and stuff, but why is stuff so medical stuff is so expensive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, insurance don't cover it. Like I don't understand. Like this is what y'all need to fix. They, it's not gonna get Kamala fixed. Kamala Harris. This is what we, we need to fix. It's not gonna get fixed because that's how America runs. They run. That's how they run. Yeah. Um. So yeah, guys. Anyways, um, y'all, this video is not a sad video. It's not meant. We're being very optimistic. She's gonna be fine. She's gonna be fine. She's because. gonna live long years and gonna have kids, y'all. I'm gonna be a grand, uh, not a uncle. 
Yeah, I, I is gonna be an uncle girl uh, to a little girl and a little boy, or maybe five. Yeah, we just want y'all. We just had to let y'all know because she made it public. So we wanted yeah. y'all to know, and plus we want um. We have a platform, so we want to um, to get her as much help as possible. Yeah, help as possible. So, but anyways, so. y'all, we finna go. Um, as I said again, one more time, the link is in our description. Donate if you can donate. Um, if you live anywhere on the East Coast, especially in the Atlanta area, please be safe because it's Girl. gonna be raining. If you don't have to go outside, listen. If you stay already inside. know, if you already know that you're not a good driver when it's dry outside stay and inside, sunny, please. just stay inside. Because y'all be carrying, girl, and y'all just be... Uh, at this point, girl, just put the keys down, girl. Leave the keys on the on the key hook thing, right? When you get through the door right there, Miss Thing, next to the fridge. Don't even take the keys up, Miss Thing, girl. So leave it in the garage. Please. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, y'all, um, we will see y'all in the next video. We love you guys and we appreciate you guys. And, yeah. Craig, you don't, you're not giving them your the kiss, bro. All right, y'all. Bye. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins.